Welcome back everyone to the AI children's book creator. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the latest advances to this application with regards to the main character of the story. So what's going to be possible for you now is that when you create a new book, you will instantly be able to create a character using the AI itself on the same page. So for example, if I show you some examples of some of the creations we've done. So here's a princess in this story and you can see the consistency in the character. And here's a prince, the prince who couldn't get off his high horse. And as you can see, the consistency is always going to be there. Now, I want to show you exactly how I do this. And you click on one click AI comic book, but really it's going to create a children's book, which you can upload directly onto Amazon. So let me show you the advance right now. Over here, you can write something like a cute blue elephant learns to climb a tree and then what you'll find is that the AI is going to create for you a main character image and it can be of anything it doesn't have to be of humans anymore this has been unlocked literally yesterday when we introduced this functionality what you're going to find is that the AI is going to create a blue elephant and here it is so this is your generated character which is going to be used in the entire story so this has never been seen or never been used by anyone and you can now use it. And the, the, the location of the description of this animal is down here. So if you need to change anything, then you change it here. Like if you need it like wearing glasses, for example, uh, sunglasses, for example, then you just change it there and then click the refresh button here. And what you'll find is the AI will now generate an alternative image, which will basically be almost identical just this time with glasses on so as you can see this is a perfect alternative and it's got the sunglasses on so now you can use this character in your story and it will stay the uh, consistency will stay there for you alternatively if you don't want to go through this way of doing things by using this method you can always use the automatic mode this will generate some storylines sorry some names of stories that you can use or you can go to the custom mode and then you can select a character by clicking one of these buttons and then you can kind of uh, do things your own way by typing in these boxes and selecting the type of imagery you want so obviously once you've finished and you've created the perfect character for your story, the next step would be to um, just create the pages and that can be done in one click and it creates all the images in one go. And once you've finished that, you click on text on image and then you start placing text on your images. And this can also be done automatically. If you click, if you switch this on and you automate with AI, it will automatically place the text on the images for you one page at a time, as you can see right now. See, this is all happening automatically. You have six seconds to make changes, as you can see, and you can just slightly move the text if you feel like it would be better somewhere else. You can also change the amount of time that you have between each page loading, but I just wanna show you one more page done automatically. Remember, I'm not moving my mouse. This is all happening automatically. The text box is moved, and then the text is moved and resized all by the AI. So you could just let this go by itself. Just leave your computer on, and it will just do all the pages for you. Once you finish this, you'll be able to produce an entire uh, book for Amazon, which you basically make a PDF, and then you can upload it to Amazon. You know what, let me just show you that just right now. So let me just demonstrate this just once again for those of you who are new here. The way to complete a book is you click on book settings, create an intro page that will automatically generate an entire intro page using AI. There you go, automatically. Then you click on save changes and prepare the images. That will take about five to 10 minutes, depending how many images you have. Once the images are prepared, it will produce a file, a word type file, and you download a template and then paste it in there and you're ready to upload to Amazon, including the intro and everything will be ready for you. The main addition today is the uh, option to have a changing uh, kind of character, main character, which is also produced by AI. So for those of you who are uh, old timers and following, uh, that's the main difference for today. And uh, this app, I've sp we've spent like a couple of hours on it today. And so once, um, so, so you will notice some changes on this page. I recommend making all your children's books on this page. So when you click on select an app and book, 
make sure you click on new AI comic book generator. Do not click on children's book generator because now this app is much more advanced than the children's book creator. So now that it's finished, um, everything is ready. All you need to do is click on last step, compile, and it will compile your book for you. As you can see, it's being compiled. And uh, in the meantime, you can create a KDP listing with AI, which will create that right now for you on the page and download this also. Then you can view the KDP listing information over here. And if you're ready, once this is finished, when it says five out of five and completed, you download your template file, which I've shown you before in other videos. And here it is. And then you uh, edit that file. You go into here, enable editing. if it ever works. <laughs> oh, and just one more thing, for those of you who are asking about a cover image for your books, this video will also cover that, just give me a second. So that once this file is ready, you just paste all of the contents into this page. Let me just show you an example right now. You scroll to the top of this, down the bottom, select Control A, Control C, or Command A, Command C, paste it all into this page, second page, then you copy the intro, into this page, delete this, you don't want this, and that's it. Now you can see it reaches, uh, the, these pages are a little bit bigger because we needed that for the bleed. Then you can make this a little bit bigger by enlarging the text size, and that's it. This book is ready to be uploaded to KDP. Just save it as a PDF, of course, not as a doc file. Now, if you need a cover image for your book, click on the text on image button for the image that you want as the cover image, like this and then you simply click on the image that you want to use as the cover image, but then you'll be able to download it on this page. Make sure you switch off automation so that it doesn't start doing the work, but click on this and then you'll automatically download that image. That's all for today. Nothing else is new. This was Generate.net. Bye for now.